Hey, it's Stephanie. I'm here at the security booth where you'll find a wall full of keys to a more secure cloud. And today I am joined here by Chris and he's going to show us about his demo here. Let All us right. know what you do here. So I'm Chris Prevost. I'm a group product manager with the cloud security products portfolio. Okay. So we have a lot of products in the portfolio. And in this particular booth, we're talking about generative AI and how we're using that to make some of our cloud security products even better. This is a super exciting space. Again, after the keynote, we saw a little sneak peek of the Mandian capabilities with Gen AI. But what are you showing here today? Yeah. So today, we're showing how we're using generative AI to address kind of three big problems in security. The first one is there's a lot of stuff to look through in security. So we want to be able to try and find more things. Generative AI is helping us to dig through the mass of data to try and find the things that are really interesting. So that's the first thing, find more threats. The second thing that we're trying to do with it is we're trying to address the problem that we have in security of all these different really great security solutions that don't really work together very well. So there's a lot of toil involved with that. So the second thing we're addressing is toil. We're using generative AI to maybe basically stitch those things together faster and easier for us. Okay. And then the third thing, and this is the biggest problem I think yeah. in security, is that we just don't have enough security people who know things about the things to know about. So that talent shortage, that's another thing we're using generative AI for. So the idea is generative AI can take really complicated things and translate them and simplify them and summarize them so that somebody who's smart but maybe not a domain expert can really get up to speed quick. So those are the three things we're trying to address with generative AI in our cloud security products. And in our demo, we've got a couple of examples. Awesome. And I'll just quick, I'll quickly quick through just a couple of these. So in this first example, and there's about five of them, but I'll go quick. We're talking about the Mandiant Threat Intelligence product. And so in this solution, what you can do is you can find out all about the threat actors who might be thinking about targeting you. And that helps you as a security practitioner to figure out what are the things I need to prioritize because there's a lot of stuff to do in security. So using generative AI, what we can do is instead of popping into the system and saying, oh, let's find out about APT43. That's a North Korean nexus threat actor, and they also known as Lazarus Group. What they tend to do is uh, various criminal activities which end up in them stealing Bitcoins that they use to fund other activities, so not good. Oh, wow. But they're pretty active, and if you look in the system, you'll find that there's maybe 11,000 hits of things that they're up to, identifiers that relate to them. That's a lot for one particular person to know. So you can use generative AI type in APT43, and it'll summarize all the data that's in there about that particular threat actor and give you kind of an action plan. Okay, this is what they do, this is what you should look for, this is what you need to do next. So that's a really cool use of generative AI, addressing that talent gap. Second thing, this is our Chronicle solution. Chronicle is our security information and event management solution, and essentially what it does is it gathers a whole bunch of data from your infrastructure, and, it, and then our security analysts can look through that and try and figure out is there activity in here that would indicate that a bad guy is in our network doing bad things? And it can be pretty complicated, so we're using generative AI to make it really easy. So instead of having to know all the details of how do I write the right kind of a search query for this system, I can just use a natural language search, and that gets translated automatically by generative AI into the correct syntax for this particular solution to find the details. So addressing the toil yeah. in this particular solution. Third thing, this is our security orchestration and automation platform. Uh, and what this does is, once I find something bad in that big pool of data, now I need to figure out what am I gonna do with this? Should I go and contain an endpoint or should I go do some other activity, patch a thing, something like that? It can be a lot of data in here. So what we're using generative AI for is basically summarize all this data in this particular case so that the security analysts can look at this and say, oh, I think I need to go investigate this next take these actions, do this other thing. So again, trying to make it a little bit easier for the security analysts to get their job done. This one's a really cool one. This was in our uh, security command center. And security command center is our uh, cloud security posture management solution. So you load things up into GCP, you wanna get everything all set up, get your VPC perimeter set up and your VMs and all that kind of stuff. But what if you made a mistake? Uh-oh, that's where security command center can come in play. So what it can do is it can help you to figure out quickly did you make a mistake when you configured this thing? Is there some threat actors that are poking at you that you need to know about? So basically it helps you keep eyes on glass for what's going on in your cloud environment, GCP. 
Sometimes it can be complicated though, because there's a lot of stuff in your GCP environment. And what this solution does, this is attack path simulation in Security Command Center. And what it does is it basically shows you a step-by-step -step path for how a bad guy could go from the outside into your high value resources. So it's really cool. But these can be really complicated. Lots of different steps that a bad guy can take. So we're using generative AI to summarize, well, what does this graph mean? And what should I do next? So again, kind of making that easier for the security analyst. Last thing is, in our VirusTotal product, so VirusTotal is the world's largest crowdsourced threat intel platform. I mean, it's massive. There's billions of bits and pieces of data in there that a security analyst would use to figure out, is a bad guy on my network? Okay. But what if it's the very first time that this particular piece of malware has ever been seen in the world? Nobody in the world, in the crowdsource world, knows about this thing yet. But we're doing some super cool generative AI. We're basically taking that piece of malware, we're reading it, interpreting it, and then translating it into human language so you can understand what it does. So in this example, maybe nobody in the community has ever seen this thing before, but here, generative AI is reading and saying, uh-oh, this is malware. We can see that it's gonna do this, that, and that, which is just like what malware does. Yeah. So super cool getting ahead of the curve, reducing toil in this particular case. You just cover a lot there, but the way I see it is you're surfacing data, you are explaining it and wrangling it, explaining it, and then enabling people to take action. Exactly. And it seems like that's sort of the trend I see with cloud technology, right? It's like, we have the dashboards, we're overwhelmed with dashboards, and we're overwhelmed with information and ways to visualize it, but it's just that added, trying to keep up with the velocity of what attackers are throwing exactly. at us. That's exactly right. We're trying to use the machines to help us get ahead of the bad guys. Right. Yes. It's a cat and mouse game, but we're trying to win the race here. You got it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Steph.